What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactor. So, last episode, it was a quick thing. It was talking about the uh, the railgun slash e cannon, whatever you want to call it. We are going to talk about this gigantic structure here. Well, let me just show you what we've got going on. So, this is what we're dubbing the Gigafactory. It's a Gigafactory. It does Gigafactory stuff and things and such and whatnots but it is going to be our new home for most of our production not all of it we are still going to do uh oil stuff and probably quartz stuff and the catarium slash quick wire cat catrium catria catria whatever anyways we're going to do that stuff off base like off location we're going to make a separate little factory over there but as you can see, we have 12 manufacturers. So I built 12 manufacturers because I'm like, well, I think 12 manufacturers should cover pretty much everything that we're going to want to create in here and make and whatnots and things like that. So uh, we have 12 manufacturers right here down the center. And then behind those, we have a few other things. So as you can see, these are all kind of building up. They're all little like encased areas. Each one of these areas has 12 of these little constructors because we have an area we're gonna have an area for iron plates we're gonna have an area for iron rods alternate iron screws we're not gonna use regular screws we're gonna use alternate uh we're gonna have one for steel beams steel pipes wire cable and copper sheeting as long as well as concrete and i think that's gonna cover pretty much everything that we're gonna want to make in these so these are all gonna run through each little uh each little building is essentially gonna be its own item now one one of these areas might actually become two separate things just because of like concrete and I want to say concrete and rods because we're not using a lot of rods in, in all actuality. So concrete and rods might be mixed into one. We might do uh, like two lines of concrete, one line of rod or, you know, back and forth, whatever. But we have the exact same thing mirrored on the other side right over there. So we have a total of one, two, three, four four different little manufacturing areas on both sides ready to rock and roll all we do is have to hook them up and then right here is kind of an example of what we're trying to accomplish so each one of these they're going to run up into the second floor which is going to be right up here and that's going to be where the assemblers and like you know bigger machinery and stuff like that is and that's all going to be on that floor so there's this floor right here that runs across the whole top it's going to run pretty much across the entire top except for right here which I want to keep open. I want to make out of glass so we can actually see like, you know, the sky and stuff like that right here. Everything else is pretty much going to be like this. We're going to have these little columns like this come down with the different types of conveyors uh, because like each little thing requires four. I put these three by threes in here. Now we could have went with, we could have went with these two wall conveyors, but I don't know. I'm not positive that I like the way they line up with, they don't really line up with these very well. And I thought about trying to bring it over a hair. We could actually do that. We could actually bring it over because then it would line up perfectly if I'm not mistaken. If we brought these all over by one, those should actually line up. You know what? I think we're going to do it. My, my gosh, I think we're going to do that. <laughs> so we'll bring those over by one, uh, but we're going to use these. Let me grab this guy. How's that look? Is that the right way? No, you're still backwards. There. Better? Fantastic. Okay. So yeah, we're going to line those up with these. That way they can come straight out here. Everything should be nice and tidy. And then I think what we're going to do with these, I haven't decided. I don't know if I want to put storages right here or if I actually am just going to take out a foundation and have them run underneath somewhere. I don't know. But um, this is a gigantic work in progress because as you can see, we have a lot of floors, a lot of walls, a lot of things to put in. But um, that's that's the, the Giga Factory. Oh, and then over here, let me, you know what? Let's, let's hop in this guy right here. <laughs> let's hop in this little guy. Over here, we have a ton an absolute ton of smelters and foundries and we're actually going to keep expanding it out this way that way it runs the entire length we can bring things in where we need to so the factory itself should be fairly organized however we're going to tap into all these nodes laying around everywhere and we're going to build them all into here that's what we're going to do we could build factories like right on each little resource node but we're just going to use conveyor belts. We're going to run them long distances. It's going to be super spaghettification. It is what it is. I don't even care. <laughs> we might try to make it a little bit more organized using foundations, running uh, like foundation pads out to different uh, resources. But for the most part, everything's going to be smelted in here. Uh, we'll probably end up running these guys all right here. That way you can look out, you can see them, but they're not like, you know, super in the way. And then actually down here, we're going to bring them into 
these little factory areas through the floor. So we're going to actually send these out all the way underneath, run conveyor belts and elevators and all that fun stuff. So uh, that's the Giga Factory. That's what we're working on on stream. If you guys want to check it out, twitch.tv slash Z1 Gaming, and you can catch all of this fun stuff. But we have got to get enough talking. My God, we've been talking this entire time. We've got to get some quartz stuff going on uh, because we need some silica and we actually need to do some researching as well because I need I need supercomputers now and I don't have supercomputers yet. I don't have them being made. I don't have any way to make them. I mean, I guess I could make them. Um, probably, we probably could. But I want to run a, uh, a thing out to the silica area so we can start making that. Um, aluminum, I'm pretty sure is probably already backed up now because like I said, we've been playing for a while. We streamed for a while. I bet you it's completely full. It already looks like it is because I can see the stuff sitting right there, ready to go. Maybe we should, do I have the stuff to make another? I don't, let's see if I can find some. All right, I don't have any here. I need some beams, but my guess is that this guy is complete. Yeah, it's completely full of aluminum ingots. Actually, you know what? We probably should address that. We probably should. So we need, I believe we need a foundry bringing in copper, if I'm not mistaken. So let's say we put a foundry here and we wanted, no, it's not. It's not that. It must be the assembler. And I don't, <laughs> I don't have cables. Out of all things, I don't have cables. My goodness. All right, so we got some <laughs> we got some cables now. <sighs> Let's put this guy right in here. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the alkali aluminum sheet. We need eight aluminum ingots and three copper, which is actually quite fantastic because that's going to help us get rid of these. But then all we have to do is bring copper over here, which is super easy because we actually have a copper node uh, like right up there, not too far away. Actually, let's let's take a quick peek. Do we have copper anywhere else around here. All right. So that's the copper node that I'm talking about. Uh, we have that one over there. Let's go see if we can't just drag over some raw copper. I believe we can because we actually have one line completely backed up. Yeah, this guy right here is it's pretty backed up. So we're going to just split off of this and we're going to just drag this down because it, the, the rate at which it needs this one is actually significantly less. So let's just throw some splitters on here. Let's get this guy hooked up, shall we? All right, so we got the copper ingots right there. Let's go ahead and throw a conveyor belt down into here. We're going to actually run it up a little bit higher like that. And then do I have enough stuff for these? I do. Okay, let's run out another layer of these guys. Maybe two just to be safe. All right, let's see where we need these actually to come out at. It's kind of way over here. Yeah, they're right here. So I would say I would say we're going to need them to come out about right here. And we need to run that. How are we going to do this? What would be the best way for this? Maybe this way. We'll run it like that. And then let's actually put a conveyor pole in here because I want them to kind of go underneath of this like that. And then probably back up to conveyor stackables to right here. That should work. Minor clipping will be involved, but that's all right. So I'll put those there. That guy there. That guy there. This guy up to this one this one to here this one to here and then this guy this is gonna be the trick because i want to use a conveyor elevator but i think that might be a little far for it to handle so we'll go ahead and give it a try my guess is it's not gonna work we're probably gonna have to put uh we're probably gonna have to put some support on it somewhere oh my god i was wrong and i love it <laughs> all right so this is bringing in copper and aluminum which is going to give us the alkali aluminum sheeting which is fantastic now i don't have the stuff for a industrial storage but we'll get that in a second Let's see let's get a let's get some power in here do we have stuff for power pole mark ii fantastic i like those ones so that there that there this guy's gonna go ahead and start making the stuff we are not making 60 aluminum per minute but we have such a backlog of it i don't think we'll have an issue uh, making enough, but I got to go grab some of the uh, the stuff for the, the better storage unit deal. I got to say this Giga Factory is going to look pretty epic once we get it finished. Oh, I love it already. Like, I mean, come on. Doesn't that just look? It's the beginnings of a good factory. It looks pretty cool. I think maybe. I don't know. Comment down below. What do you guys think? All right. So this guy is making that uh, all that sheeting. Let's go ahead and throw these into here. We'll go ahead and make two of them just because if I like if I go AFK and leave the server running, uh, I want to make sure that this is good to go. Boom, into there. Boom, into there. All right, cool. So I don't think we're going to need aluminum ingots for anything else. So I'm just going to let those kind of run into there, do their thing. 
I think we'll probably have enough copper for now as well because the other thing is backed up anyways but we need to get some quartz stuff going because we don't have any oscillators being made and we don't have any here let's go into here real quick uh recipe selection oh it's not even in here for is it wait hold on a second is it in the constructor all right so constructor quartz crystal oh you know what the oscillator is in the manufacturer but we need to make a bunch of quartz crystal and we need to make a bunch of silica so those are two things that we do need to get rock and rolling let's go ahead let's get some foundations built out to that point we're going to drag power over there as well i don't need copper sheeting as much so we're going to go ahead and leave that behind so actually lucky for us i already have this area of sulfur being brought out here and would once you know it that it's actually fairly close to the uh the quartz area so we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna bring these foundations all the way over to the quartz area which is just right around this mountain actually you know what i think it's on that side of the mountain hmm all right we made it over here it was a little bit further than i thought it was and we got a stupid dirty uh nasty spitter alien deal over there but that's okay that's all right uh let's get some of these amazing double ramps here these things are the best thing ever <laughs> uh i gotta say if you guys are looking to build your way down guess what <laughs> these are your best option so let's get these down into here let's get some foundations and we're gonna build an area right here that's actually probably gonna do most of the uh the silica work and it's just gonna we're just we're just gonna convey it back to our base so the reason i'm not using trucks and i know people are gonna be like well why don't you just use trucks why don't you use uh, a train or something like that is because this is pretty far away but it's not like super far away if that makes any sense you know it's not like ridiculously far away where i need to worry about trucks and like getting fuel to the trucks and things like that so we're just gonna use conveyors because the conveyors are reliable you don't have to worry about fuel you don't have to worry about anything else they're good to go once you set them up and like i said we're, we're probably gonna have enough area over here to do stuff anyways all right so this area right here we need a couple of things let's kind of see what we're gonna get for rates wise 120 per minute from that guy and then what are we gonna get from you 120 per minute okay awesome so we need some constructors which i actually should already have the stuff to make those like no problemo let's go and bring in uh we'll bring in one right there we'll go ahead and throw one right next to it all right so how much do you guys need quartz 37.5 per minute quartz crystals so that's 60 uh you know what let's just do another quartz crystal we'll do quartz crystals on all three of these that'll be slightly higher than 120 per minute but that's all right i'd rather have them overfold than uh, underfold so that'll be those and then let's actually get some more in here and these are going to make the silica so how much do we need for silica 22.5 per minute so that's pretty good wow uh let's go ahead and set in 22.5 that's 22 that's 44 that's like 50 that's gonna be about 100 so i would say what three more machines We'll throw we'll throw on three more of these guys all right so we got these guys set out now i think i'm gonna try because i need to get outputs on these and inputs on these within this area i think that should not be an issue this one's gonna feed these uh hopefully i have enough stuff for logistics right now um 270 per minute that's plenty so we'll go off of those for now i i want to eventually upgrade them uh we're gonna bring it out here we're gonna wrap it around this way like that and then we're gonna take a line all the way down to here to like right there put that into there we'll throw some splitters on here hopefully i have the stuff for splitters okay i do good good <laughs> nothing worse than not having the stuff that you need right so throw one there one there and one here and we'll get these guys hooked up all right so those guys are all hooked up ready to go uh let's make sure we have the right thing selected they are all selected fantastic we're gonna do the exact same thing on these but I gotta get the outputs of these put in as well. So how do we wanna do this? Conveyor merger, let's do a conveyor merger. Let's get as close to this thing as we can. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work. Maybe, let's see, can we connect? Can we get that connected? I don't know if we can get that connected. You know what might be the best bet? Might be our better bet if we use conveyor lifts and lift them out of here first. Yeah, that might be our best bet. So we go like that and then lift them out. And of course, they're not all the same level. <laughs> of course not. Um, ooh. All right, so hold on. We're going to have to play with this a little bit here. All right, so we got that belt hooked up. I know it's a little weird, but I think it'll work for us. Uh, wait a second. That's completely wrong. <laughs> that, that's completely wrong. That's not what I need. I need 
Uh, I need conveyor poles right here. I guess we'll throw one right there and we'll throw one over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind here. All right, so we'll throw that one there, run this into there. And I'm hoping that I have enough room in here to put splitters and to connect the splitters. Let's see if I do. All right, so there's the splitters. Please let me connect. All right, that one's good. That one's good. Looks good. Uh, I need one more on here and I think we'll be good actually. Now I could have moved these a little bit further away, but guess what? We're going to, we're just going to cram as much of the stuff into one area as possible. All right. So those are all hooked up. Those are good. Those are good. Now we got to get the outputs on both of them connected up and we got to run the line all the way back to our base. All right. Now the hope is that we can get these to connect up to these. Oh, I yeah. it made the connecting sound. I don't think that one's right. I think that one needs to be a little bit higher. All right, let's try that one. All right, that looks good. Okay, so these should work right there, right there. Okay, fantastic. So those are gonna put an output on there. We're gonna swing this guy around. It's gonna go through here and then we're probably gonna connect these into the same line. We're gonna have a smart splitter at the end to get everything to work. Oh my goodness. I think I think we are doing well here. So uh, silica on all of these. All right, so there's those. And then let's go ahead and get some conveyor lines put in here as well. So we have those at about four high. Let's just keep them at the same height. So we're definitely going to want Mark four belts on these, if not maybe Mark fives eventually, but we're not making Well, I mean, I guess technically we are making the Mark five stuff now uh, because it requires the aluminum alkali alkalide sheets or whatever. So there's those and then uh, hook on some more mergers and we should be good. All right. Those are all connected up. Good to go. I did have to do a little bit of readjustment, but that's all right that is good everything looks like it's good to go uh let's get some power stuff done as well do i have the power pole mark ii stuff i do indeed let's grab one there we'll throw one over here and then we'll throw one there and then see if we can wedge some in here as well all right that's good to go that's it that's uh, that's all we had to do now we just gotta get it brought back and actually this is gonna be pretty good because we need to bring back the uh the sulfur stuff anyways so let's just go ahead and bring that right there and then just bring these up here. All right, power's hooked up, ready to go. Also, so small update thing. They actually changed some of the power requirements because if you guys remember before, we were we were operating at about 2,400 megawatts per second or per, per minute or whatever, per hour, 2,400 megawatts per hour. But they actually dropped the cost of uh, a lot of machinery down. So we're currently sitting like super good. We still have a th about a thousand overhead and we have a lot more machines in here and we should now have quartz being produced, but I have to go get some more, uh, more materials in order to belt everything back. So let's go make sure everything's running. Everything's good over here. And then we can worry about getting the belts all the way back to base, but, um, I'm not super worried about it quite yet. Well, I can already see some stuff on the way. I can see some, what is that? Silica and possibly do we have anything else coming in? Let's see. Let's take a peek here. Okay. We got some silica. I didn't select silica for everything, did I? No, we should have some regular quartz coming in too. Ooh. All right. Something might not have gotten hooked up. I Maybe I didn't run a belt right or something. Oh no, there's some quartz right there. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Let's go take a peek uh, a little bit closer. Look at everything. Make sure everything is good to go. Quartz is just a lot smaller. <laughs> it's just so teeny tiny. All right. So this quartz is not filling up quite. Oh yeah, that's because this one is, um, this one's a hair slow. It's 37.5. You know what? Let's uh, let's do this. Let's let's throw a slug in here and that should get us max production. That should bump up the production rates. We should be able to max out these guys. No problemo. Obviously, this guy's full. But yeah, we should we should be good. So it looks like it is starting to keep up just fine. Now, I want to talk about the different types of like delivery methods and the method that I use, because a lot of people like to comment. They're like, oh, you, if you use a splitter, you're supposed to put one out each direction because that splits them equally in all directions. So that is true. If you wanted all your machines to be fed equally at the same time, then I would bring a splitter out here, have one, two, and three, and it would do, it would divvy them up. One, two, three, one, two, three, so on and so forth. But I like to use the overflow method personally. I think it just makes lines a little bit simpler, a little bit easier. And basically that's kind of the method I have here. So basically the machine comes in, the splitter comes in. So firstly, it wants to split everything halvesies here. So this machine gets half this, this direction gets half, this direction gets half. 
which means that this machine right here is getting fed way more in theory than everything else because this is getting half of total resources whereas these three are then splitting this half and then so on and so forth where then the half that comes out of here half goes in this machine half goes here so then these two resource these two machines are splitting half of this one which is another half but if you are meeting the requirements you have enough of everything the overflow method which is the one i like once that one fills up everything will divert to this one and then it'll split half and then once this one fills up everything will divert to this one and then this one will get half and then everything will go in here that's not the most efficient way but if you have an overflow like i believe we do now then this machine is going to slowly fill like that machine's already full this machine is going to slowly fill up to i'm guessing 100 once that hits 100 it's going to start diverting everything to this one and so on and so forth so i like using this method because it keeps the lines nice and clean uh, a little bit easier there's not uh, there's you can you can get programmable splitters but i don't think there's a way to say like this splitter i want one fourth of materials to go here and then i want one third and then i want half you know what i mean or something like that i don't think there's a way to do that quite yet but this right here to me is the best way that i use it and that's how i use it on pretty much all my machines this one's the exact same way as you can see it's using the overflow method as well all these machines are green good to go uh let's see how's this one four of three so this one is slightly not making it uh requires 22.5 per minute but this these all these right here don't require quite as much as this is putting out so eventually these are all gonna fill up everything's gonna rock and roll it's gonna be great so and this line is already backed up because i don't have it connected to anything i should at least connect it to a storage unit at the end i just haven't done that yet <laughs> and then let's go ahead and check on these guys as well so these guys are completely full of gunpowder absolutely full so i need to do some gunpowder research i need to do actually more research because I can't turn that into anything yet because we haven't done research to the ma'am yet. So I need to do more research on those. I need to do some quartz research, um, but everything is looking pretty good. And I, I you know, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good of what the, what we have here. Uh, so the quartz is being refined into the two resources that we need. Eventually, we're going to harvest it. We're going to bring it out. Uh, we might actually throw a truck station in here. Let's see if there's uh, because I know there's coal right here, obviously, because like we're using coal for uh, for gunpowder and there's a coal node that's not even hooked. Uh, hooked up so we might actually throw a truck station in right here to bring the uh the gunpowder right this is our black powder black powder and the quartz the refined quartz or whatever and the silica we might use well shoot the base is literally right there so hmm. we, we might not i don't know but uh that's actually gonna end this episode guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for more also we stream on uh tuesdays and sundays on twitch.tv slash z1 gaming if you guys want to check that out it's a pretty good time pretty fun but uh yeah you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you in the next episode